Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development has declared a resumption of the energy connection policy that was approved by Cabinet in 2018 but was not implemented due to the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. It gives me a great pleasure and honor to launch the resumption of the electricity connection policy that was established in 2018 but had to be put on hold in December 2020 due to financial constraints. The move seeks to improve access to electricity and strengthen Uganda's self-reliance and capacity to manage unlawful power connections and electricity theft. Government mandated the Rural Electrification Agency to ensure consumers with no poll and those with one poll but a weight connection to pay a fee of 20,000 shillings that will double as facilitation to the service providers to inspect homes and also ensure wiring is well done. The obligation of government through RARE under the ECP is to meet the cost of the no poll and one poll connections while consumers pay inspection fees of 20,000 to service providers. The backlog of electricity connection due to fund constraints stood at about 200,500 completed applications as of 7 December 2020. Minister Chitutu says her ministry has written to the World Bank requesting for a $400 million loan that will be scheduled for a one-pole connection campaign. This will enhance the ministry's target of at least 60% of Ugandans access electricity by 2040, although the loan awaits approval of parliament. Now this loan, the $400 million, is what is going to help us on the one pole connection because what we are beginning with is we have materials to connect people directly in the houses from the pole to the house that one we have for at least to begin with for around eight seven thousand five hundred connections we are in advanced stages of negotiation with the world bank because one of the areas where we have to agree is on the bubu policy. We now have local companies producing transformers. They are producing cables. So these have to be integrated. And we also have to put down our foot such that this is a loan and it will be the Ugandans who will pay back this money. On tariffs, Chitutu explained that if industrialization is embraced, the move will scale down the high electricity tariffs. Transmission and distribution is a priority. So we, are, so we are going to increase distribution, I mean the demand, by putting up industrial parks and also making sure that Ugandans use this power, especially for cooking. So this is going to be a policy which we are going to be very vibrant on. On average, an electric pole costs 700,000 shillings while connection is valued at 1.3 million shillings. Helen Barbara Gizamba reporting for ABC News.